Peggy 16. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Hey, leave him alone! Max? Chloe? Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Something happened to her. First things first, I love the soundtrack to this song. Just listen. Second thing second, if you're a person that only needs another person to shout out that a game is freaking awesome, then go buy this game right now as it is indeed very much so awesome. I want proof you can rewind time! The trucker drops his mug. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio. I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. Anyway, onto the actual review. Life is Strange is nothing like what the title says. Strange. It is very much so an adventure of the most original origin. There are games out there that mess around with time, but nothing on the scale that Life is Strange does. Everything about it, in my opinion, is amazing. But obviously there are going to be other people out there that see flaws in the game. So by all means, go watch their lies, laugh at the screen at their lies, and then come back here and seek the truth about this amazing beauty of a game. When I first came across this game, it was a playthrough on YouTube, and I didn't bother watching it as it seemed the type of game that would be boring to watch someone else play. I didn't bother looking the game up either, but later in my days I came across it on Steam, bought it, and I was not disappointed with the money I used, which was only $3.99 per episode. If you're a person that loves games, that gives you a choice in what to do and say, then this is very much a game for you. It takes a different approach to the genre, that being games normally like Mass Effect, which has loads of action. But in Life is Strange, most of the time it's a very chilled game, which again I loved as it was a break from the other games these days. It allowed me to sit down and unwind and change the destiny of my classmates, which, let's be honest, everyone wished they could do. Rachel in the dark room. Oh my god, Kate wasn't the first. Max, oh, come on. Think. Getting into the story of the game is amazing. I promise I know other words. The story progresses at the right rate and at a speed that you're comfortable with. As with the role-playing aspect of the game, you advance at your own speed. The characters of the game are highly believable and you forget that they're actually not real. The ones that are made to be hated do their job as well. Yes, I'm talking to you, Victoria. All in all, the game is, for the fourth time in this review, amazing, and yes, I counted how many times I said it. I highly recommend this game to anyone that wants to chill and unwind, and wants to play something different that will still fit that hunger of playing a good game. So, what would you do now? 